We are at Tyndall, Irish National Research Institute, and we work at the Photonics Packaging Lab, which is uh, just behind me. Let's come now into our lab. What do you think photonic packaging is? Well, I've only got a very short time to say, but there's so much in photonic packaging. Actually, there's more than just photonics. There's electronics, mm. there's ele um, mechanical, there's thermal, um, and there's a lot of design around the actual devices that you need to work with. Mm. And then there's the application. And what kind of applications do you think that photonic packaging is going to have in the near future? Well, photonics has many applications, <laughs> but I suppose we're all familiar with the usual ones, like communications and data centers, which has really driven a lot of photonics in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. But now we're starting to see photonics really um, move into new areas. Sensors, especially these days, biosensors for things like virus detection and uh, disease detection. Um, so all of those applications, then you have other important areas, mass markets like LiDAR mm -hmm. um, and obviously communications. So the, 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 the kind of areas are really expanding and that presents a big challenge for packaging because many of these applications have very different requirements. And the packages are very different. But what we need to do is try and put some standards around things. Mm -hmm. So standards kind of help manage costs and manage complexity. So that's a big part of packaging, what we're doing these days, and getting everybody to work together towards standards rather than everybody going off in different directions. Mm -hmm. So there's a big, big challenge there, but a big opportunity. So this is our laser welding station. We use it for attaching single lens fibers to picks that use edge coupling. The system consists of two fiber optic beam delivery systems, one and two, and they're attached to a neodymium YAG class four laser system located in the back. Once the fiber is aligned using the central column translational stage, we place a nickel saddle shaped weld clip over the metal ferrule of the fiber. So when activated, the laser pulse is fired and it melts the metal of the weld clip to the sub mount, fixing the fiber in place. So this is our FB Square Pactic machine here. And uh, this machine is a highly advanced and highly automated system, which is capable of sequential solder ball attach. So this machine can actually singulate, position, and uh, deposit your solder balls with a diameter of as small as 50 micron. So it already has some micron alignment accuracy. We are currently working under restricted access to labs and following COVID regulations. In our lab, we assemble photonic packages to be used in a broad range of commercial applications. The overall cost of packaging is quite high, but our nanoglue machine allows us to research and develop novel methods to increase the overall efficiency of the packaging process. We are currently measuring a receiver module developed by PixApp. This package contains a high-speed photo detector which converts an optical signal to an electrical signal. The nano glue machine gives us control of six axes of movement with 100 nanometer precision, so we can properly align and connect a fiber array to the receiver module. When aligning optical components, the tolerances can be sub-micron and any inaccuracies can lead to large losses in our optical signal. After we have aligned our components with high precision, we manually set and evenly cure the epoxy which keeps everything in place. This is the most delicate part of the process as uneven curing and shrinkage can cause the components to shift and misalign, which would again lead to a large loss in signal. However, we are currently researching new methods to diminish or replace these issues. This is the CL1500, custom line 1500 machine, and this is our newest addition to the lab. It is installed by Ficon Tech Germany. It is capable of solar reflow, laser reflow, micro lens attach, as well as fiber attach, and it again has sub-micron accuracy and it has very good pick and place mechanisms here. So if you come closer I can show more. So as you can see these are the gel packs where it can actually pick up the chips from. Here is our optical alignment stage. When you go further that is our solder reflow stage and at the end is our laser reflow stage. It has both top and bottom laser reflow. And if you go towards my left here is the pick and place tools and with the top camera as well as we have the bottom camera here for alignment and the white light. Mm -hmm.